Hey everyone and welcome back to the job site. This should be a really exciting episode because we're going to be back on the outside of the house and the front of the house, if you've been watching the last episodes, is completely done now. We got our stone on, our wood cladding, and now we got to go to the other three sides of the house. We're going to be putting on our lap siding. So really looking forward to getting that done because it'll just bring this house one step closer to the outside being done. I'll be working outside. The other guy here will be working inside on the insulation. But I think enough talking, I'm gonna just get outside, show you what we're doing, show you the process, and we're gonna get to work. So, let's go. So, uh, here on the side of the house, I'm gonna just start with this nice big flat square wall here. No window openings, anything like that. Have my big pile of siding all set up here. That'll be enough for the rest of the house. Uh, what we did before uh, for the siding, we had to get this uh, all set up here. So we have this little piece under here and that is to make it so when we put our siding on there it'll kind of kick out the bottom a little bit because if you just had it flat against the wall then it's going to be kind of looking funny at the bottom so cut that little strip out for the bottom that kicks out the bottom and then the lap siding will be the like the same overlap the whole way up and the bottom's gonna look good so that's what we're gonna do on the first one went over here and I was actually able to get the electricians to bring that out a little bit. Send so the siding. I won't have to cut it around that. It can go right behind that pipe the whole way up. And then when we get to here, I brought that out a little bit. So our siding can go right against it kind of like that. As can be a real nice clean look the whole way up there. So I'm going to get started on that. And I'll take a little break in between and uh, show you some of the tools we're using. Well, you see behind me here, I've actually been able to make some progress on the house here, getting the siding done. I haven't filmed much of that because it's been raining. I've been out here in the rain jacket and my, my rain hat. Uh, it's just been like a little drizzle the whole day, um, all the yesterday, so I didn't film that part much. But today, it's nice and sunny actually, so I'm going to try to use the sun as much as I can to get this uh, rest of the siding done here. But you see behind me, it got a lot of stuff done. And uh, just a little quick overview of what I've been using. It's just this uh, LP Smart side right here. Just these boards and um, so the front is textured like that and then the back is just a OSB here but really strong durable stuff uh, you can use this stuff or other people use uh, the fiber cement siding 
I kind of like this stuff better because it's lighter. It doesn't break easy, and I can use normal tools like uh, like nail normal nails and saws and stuff like that to cut this. But kind of what I've been doing on this house here is behind me. So these seams here, um, there's a couple different ways you can do these. Uh, on the fiber cement, you're not supposed to caulk the seams there like I have. You're supposed to put the metal flashing behind the seams and then uh, leave the joint open uh, just for water to go behind there and, and hit the flashing and come out. Or this stuff, what you can do, you can do it that same way. Put flashing behind the joints and leave that joint open. Uh, you just have to make sure that you're painting your edges there with a uh, waterproof primer. Or you can do what I'm doing. Just leaving the eighth inch gap there and then filling that up with the uh, caulk and then uh, go over that, paint it, and it's going to be a nice uh, clean look. So that's why I like to do it that way instead of leaving the joints there open just because it looks cleaner when it's painted. But like I said before, the sun's finally out. I'm going to go ahead and get onto this back wall and hopefully I can get the siding finished up today. So I'll see you back here in a minute. And it's actually back here the next day. Uh, seems like yesterday, uh, right after I turned off the camera, about 30 minutes later, it started pouring rain. It was raining the whole afternoon, so I was able to get nothing done. But I was able to just get a little bit done up there, like you saw. I have this little bit left, that top corner up there. I'm going to definitely get that done today. I have my material here. Went to the store, got a little bit extra. Had a couple pieces short, but have what I need now. So while the weather's still nice, I don't think it's going to rain today. I'm going to jump up there, get that done. Uh, you've seen that process before, so I'm going to just get that done and hop back down and I'll do the video when that's complete. So, see you in a second. Alright, it's actually the next day here. I went ahead, like I said, and I did the top of the roof there, got all that siding done. And then since it's still a nice day, had some extra time, I did all the caulking on the edges around the windows and on the, the uh, joints and that had overnight to dry so today I went ahead I came back I got the windows taped up I got my paint out it's warmed up a little bit here so now I think it's time to go ahead and get this house painted and there we go it is totally done thought I'd get my head out of the way so you can see what it looks like but it's done uh, really happy with the way that turned out uh, like I said windows are taped up I uh, got the uh, the wires and stuff like that got that uh, covered in plastic and let's see have a little box back there with the disconnect that's covered up in plastic uh, got the paint sprayer that is out and yeah I think I'm gonna just get set up get sp sprayed on that side of the house and uh, get this done because it's a really nice day right now it should be warm the whole day and all day tomorrow just nice uh, perfectly blue skies so perfect weather for painting I'm gonna go ahead and get this painted uh, I think it'll usually, it usually takes, takes me about 45 minutes to get the whole house done, so I'm going to see if I can get that done. 
think the slowest part will be going up there with the ladder and getting that painted, but it shouldn't be too hard. So go ahead, get this started. All right, so that took about 45 minutes and the house is painted now. As you see there, uh, I'll go ahead and take the plastic off the windows and I'm gonna get the uh, trim on this house painted. So that'll be black, around the windows will be black, uh, edges will be black there. I'm gonna get that black because, uh, yeah, this color is, uh, it's it's something. Kind of reminds me of a uh, big pumpkin, I don't know. Maybe it comes up a little bit different on the camera. Uh, in person, it's, it's really not too bad. But I want to get that black trim on there just to see if it all matches together and if I like it and if I leave it or if I'm going to repaint it some different color because I don't know how much I like it. But we're going to see when the trim is trim painted is on there and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So get it painted and I'll be back in a minute when I get a little more of this painted and we can look at this together and see what you guys think of it too. Yeah, here we are now, just a couple hours later. Said we'll get the trim done. Did it around, around the windows, got that touched up, that touched up, the top there. So that is all complete there. Uh, I guess the colors is kind of all right. I really don't want to go ahead and repaint it, but the designer, the boss, she came by. Uh, she liked the, the paint color. So I'll go ahead and just leave it the way it is. I still have a little bit more to do on the back of the house. I did the front here, uh, just to see what it looks like from the street going by, and I didn't do the back of the house, just in case I had to repaint it. I didn't want to do all the extra work, but 
definitely looks better with the black trim than just uh, one color. So I'll paint all this uh, trim black probably tomorrow. And then the outside will be done. Just have to put on some flashing and gutters and landscaping and everything should be done. But that's it for the outside. Let's go inside real quick and see what we've been doing in there. And it's pretty dark inside, but uh, most of the uh, installation is done. Uh, just a few more little things to, to get finished up. But yeah, basically everything is done. The other guy, he's been working pretty hard here this week getting the insulation put in. And it's looking real good. Glad he's doing it, not me. I don't like getting itchy and and uh, scratchy with all this stuff. But yeah, another uh, day or so for him and this should be done. Another day for me and an outside should be done. And then uh, we'll be moving on to the drywall. Alright guys, well I think I'm going to end the video here. Because we're at a really good stopping point. The outside is almost done. Uh, the inside, the installation is almost done. I uh, made a lot of really great progress. Next week we'll come back, get the gutters put on, uh, get the insulation finished up, and then we go ahead and move on to the drywall. So looking forward to that, because that means the house is one step closer to being finished. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. All your comments and support, I really appreciate that. And I will see you right back here next weekend. And thanks for watching. <laughs>